presenting the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world. Generous people give more than they are asked to give. In Exodus chapter 36, verse 1 to 7, we see God's people bringing more than enough to meet their need. To the point Moses asked them to stop, generous people give in response to a great cause. Generous people give out of their substance, whether large or small. Generous people give more than just their money. Generous people give even when it doesn't make sense. Generous people give to see the impossible become possible. Generous people give when others will not. The man of God, senior prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufe, is such an example of a generous man of God. God bless you, man of God. Now, let's watch and see what the man of God did. In a man, a well-known man here, just now, I met him here, and when I met him, I was not really, really okay with myself. When I met with him, when I met him, yeah, when I met the man here, in fact, I was weeping, I was crying. When I look at the situation of the man, I was crying. He said he needs prayer. He was not like this before. Now, they have attacked him. Now, he cannot, uh, he cannot move again. He cannot do anything in his life. And I know this man was a strong man. First of all, I saw him on the, on the, on the internet before, but I did not take it as anything. But right now, I met him here. He said he, he came here for prayers before whatever thing wants to happen to him can happen to him. So when he lady said that, uh -uh, I was really, really touched. So it's a touching story. The man needs prayer. This prayer, all of us are going to pray for him. So that with God, all things are possible. The same God that who have been healing, who have been providing, can also, you know, scale him through. May God help us in Jesus' name. And I want to, before I will now go to the word of God, I want him to now come aside. No any other person than a Nigerian actor called Clem Ome, Omeji. Clem Omeji. Let Clem, whatever place he is. Many a times, people saw him, they said, it's my twin brothers. Some say, is he your elder brother? Some say, is he your twin brother? Some say, some ask even him. <laughs> Many people ask even him that, is that man your twin brothers? But I'm surprised to see him here with pains. He's here for prayers. We are here to pray for him. Let's let us see. Let us see the present situation. Voilà, cher adjudicateur, l'homme de Dieu fait appel à l'instant même à un acteur de la cinématographie nigériane qui est vraiment dans ce champ depuis fort longtemps. Et dès qu'il a déclaré, cher adversateur, l'homme de Dieu a commencé par dire qu'il a vu sur les réseaux sociaux, il était vraiment souffrant. Et dès que nous voyons à l'écran, incapable de pouvoir se déplacer, alors il est venu plaidant à l'homme de Dieu pour de l'aide, que le Seigneur puisse euh, intervenir et le guérir. Et l'homme de Dieu a dit qu'il est libre de pouvoir s'avancer comme le constateur à l'écran. Il a vraiment du mal à pouvoir se déplacer conformément à son état du passé. Mais rassurez-vous que le Seigneur est plus que capable de restaurer nos vies toutefois fois que nous faisons recours à lui. Et restez connectés avec nous, chers tapeurs, nous attendons de merci TV.
And you can see how devil, what devil has done to the life of the young man. They couldn't walk. People have to assist him. Is that one okay? Well, God bless you, God bless Nigerian, God bless Nollywood. You are welcome once again. You are welcome. Alors nous voyons vraiment la condition très pacifique. Alright. God bless us. God bless Nollywood. God bless Nigeria, may God bless every person in Mercy City and those who are watching us all over the world in Jesus' name. Well, today you can see the young man, well-known figure in the world, not only Nigeria, well-known figure in the world. He's an actor, and today... Many people, like I said, don't cry again, don't cry again. My God will scare you through. My God will scare you through. Many people see him, they said, this man, he looks like Jeremiah. Huh? So, today I was, right now, it is God that answered a man. I really hear, and I was, people sent a message and all what. Is happening in the social media about your cry for prayers. He said he wants to go to operation according to it. He wants to go to operation and he cried out. And he needs prayers from a man, everybody in the world, to pray for him before he will carry out the operation. So today, he has come. So I want to now see. I've seen him here for prayers. So I want God. What they have seen, I saw on the, on, the, on, the, on the media, social media. Let me see what really happened. Let them play it. Let me see it.
Sometime back, I was involved in a car accident. Uh, I was taken to the hospital. Uh, while I was being treated, they discovered that my lower limb was affected. So I had an x ray done. And the result of the x ray showed my cervical vertebrae 3 had collapsed. So I can break the floor, thereby causing some kind of pressure on my spinal cord. And uh, that was all to, to cause the, the, the retardment of the lower limbs. Well, I was treated for a while, I was placed on some kind of traction, treated for a while, discharged. I got better. Then, uh, after a while, I noticed I was having some difficulty. Walking. So I went back to the hospital. Uh, there, the doctor had to have one and a, a CD scan and uh, an MRI, which I did. Uh, so I came out. Uh, they met, the doctors met, the automatic surgeon and the neurosurgeon met, and came to a conclusion that uh, I need to undergo a procedural surgery. Decompress so that God separate. can help him to recover from this healings. So, I want every man, every woman, I want to hear from him what is really what is happening and what is really going on. Do you know him? Do you know him? All right. Let us hear from you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. My papa and your amiable wife, church itself. Some time back, I was involved in an accident and taken to the hospital. After consultations, the doctors requested that I do an x-ray, which I did, and the result of the x-ray came out, and it showed that my cervical vertebrae 3 had collapsed on the cervical vertebrae 4, thereby there was a pressure on my spinal cord. Initially, from the lower part of my waist down, I noticed that I couldn't walk well. I was placed on some kind of traction for about four months, after which I got better and I was discharged. I went back to my normal business. But after a while, I noticed that my movements, lower limb and part of my upper limb, was deteriorating. I wasn't working well, so I went back to the hospital. Upon examination, the doctors requested that I go do an MRI 
which I did, the result of the MRI came out and they found out that a lot of nerves running from the cervical down to the lumbar was being press pressured. And then for them to decompress that pressure, they need to separate the third cervical vertebrae from the fourth cervical vertebrae. And the only way they could do that was through a surgery. So they explained to me the procedure. It was too scary for me. Too, too scary. I told the doctors that I needed to think about it and get back to them. While I took my problem to God, I kept praying and praying that I get better, that God should intervene in my situation. Anyhow, physical things are physical things. My doctors kept calling that time was running out. And that the more I stay, the more it will cause me to deteriorate, and I might end up on a wheelchair. It's okay. So I had no choice than to make up my mind to go for the surgery. So I called them back and told them I was ready for the surgery. And they booked me for the first week of December. So I recorded that video because I knew there was nothing God cannot do. God is only using the doctors to do his work. So I put out that video asking the entire Nigerians to pray for me so I can go in for the surgery and come out successful and then get back on my feet. <laughs> Papa is here. He's my spiritual father. So I told him I needed to come here for prayers. And he said to me, son, I should come. And here I am. Papa, please, let the church pray for me. It's a very scary surgery. But I know that the God I serve, and the God you, prophets, Jeremiah, what of whom he says, will see me through this surgery and I will come out successful. <laughs> Church, please, I need your prayers. I need your prayers. I know there's nothing God cannot do without prayers. Please, that's why I'm here. Please pray for me. I'm going in for the surgery first week of December. Please. Alright, God bless His word in Jesus' name. Uh, today, according to what they say right now, He said they have booked Him for operation right now. The more He stay at home, the more increases the sickness. And you want to now, you're about to go to the operation right now on the f first week of December. He wants the church and Prophet Jeremiah to pray for him because the operation is scaring. It's scaring. It's scaring. He's afraid of the operation. So he needs prayer from the church. So that's why he's here. He wants myself and yourself to pray for him. He believes that with God all things are possible.
saw church we are going to pray for him not that when somebody dies before they say ah this person was alive we now begin to now plan for burial no when is somebody the person is alive let us show love we have to pray for him so that God can take over his health, what is passing through. So church, stand up, everybody on your feet. Everybody, lift up your hands. You're going to pray for him. Say, God, say, God, God. With you, all things are possible. With you, all things are possible. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Take over this battle. Take over this battle. After he's living here. After he's living here. Let your angels guide him. Let your angels guide him. Go with him. Go with him. And let him come back. And let him come back. With successful operation. With a successful operation. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want all the church to also pray for him again. You're going to pray. Say, Father, as he's going, your blood that you share on the cross of Calvary, begin to now rub his body, sh share upon his life. Let his going be a testimony to others. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Decree. Alors, chef de terre, ouvrez la bouche et priez. L'homme de Dieu a donné l'instruction de pouvoir prier pour ses cet acteur vraiment de renom de la cinématographie nigériane qui a un problème cervical qui se même convergé à un problème lombaire qui a affecté euh, les disques de sa colonne vertébrale et l'homme de Dieu a dit que nous puissions prier que le sang de Jésus l'accompagne et le couvre Amen Father we pray for your son Lord we pray for him you are the God that healeth. You are the great physician. Jesus Christ. With you all things are possible. Father, is going and is coming. We commit it into your hand. Lord, prove to him that you are God. Prove to him that you are Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, even the time You said, when we are in trouble, in the book of Psalm 50, 15, when we are in trouble, we should call upon your name. Lord, we need your assistance. Let your angels of healing begin to camp around him. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, help him. Bless him. Protect him. This operation that you are about to take him back on. Lord Jehovah, Lord Father, you are the God that will have human spare parts. Father, change his spare parts in the name of Jesus. As mechanic has spare parts for cars, so also the people that will invent cars, they have spare parts. Father, you are the one that created us. Lord, his spinal cords, all his spinal, all his bones, nerves, Father, his flesh, blood, Father, we commit it into your hand. Amen. As he's going, let your angels go with him. Amen. Let him come back with success. Amen. Let him return with success. Amen. Father, show mercy upon his life. Amen. Father, prove to them, prove to the world, prove to the enemies that you are the one that created him. The day you created him, nobody assisted you. Father, show mercy. Have mercy upon his sins as he's living here. Let him come back and testify. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. God bless you. You may be seated.
Now, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. We are here, and also I am here, standing to pray for you, time to time. Until you go, then you return with your two legs for your testimony. From today, he is about to leave any time, any hour. The angels of God will go with him. Amen. Then he will return with testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Is there anything hard for God? No. Is there anything hard for Jesus? No. He's the owner of your body. Don't be afraid. Well, right now, the only thing that what we are going to do Something like this happened. We do pray for men, for men and women. The Jeremiah Omoto Fufui Foundation also do support. We, we do pray for men and women, boys and girls. Then we have what is called Jeremiah Omoto Fufui Foundation to support. We are here not to only support you in prayers. We also embark you. We also support you with finance. Because finance, you need it. As you are going, it takes money. It takes money because nothing is free out there. So we are going to support you, Jeremiah Omoto Fulfilling Foundation, as you are going. We are here by support your journey for this operation with some of. Eight million naira. Alors l'homme de Dieu décide de le soutenir avec une somme de 8 millions, 8 millions de naira. Car euh, lui qui a été bouqué à une opération, c'est affaire de la cinématographie nigérienne qui a un problème cervical et un problème lombaire et ce problème affecte les disques de sa colonne vertébrale. Nous allons l'homme de Dieu. Aujourd'hui, plein de compassion, manifester cet amour à son égard et l'époux de l'homme de, de Dieu, son épouse à l'instant même, qui ouvre ce sac d'argent. We are here not, not on the prayers. Bring them out, arrange them. Bring them out, arrange them. Put them in order. Alors nous voyons cet argent à l'écran être donné en espèces. Une somme de 8 millions de naira. Et cet homme est ému car c'est de l'inattendu, mais une réalité aujourd'hui car le Seigneur répondit à ses cris, lui qui faisait face à tant d'efficacités financières pour ne même pas prendre soin de lui. Mais le Seigneur l'a fait à travers son serviteur, le prophète Seigneur Jérémie Omotopofin et son épouse. Restez connectés avec nous, chers téléspectateurs. I know, I know, it is not easy, but today, don't worry, this is called love. God sent me in order for a day like this, to assist the people that who out, who is crying for prayers, 
and also support from any angle. So Jeremiah Motor Free Foundation, we have been doing it before, not today. Not today. This is not the first time. So you're going. The more important thing, we are surely behind you in prayers. Every time, every hour, we are surely behind you in prayers. This is the word of God. And also, we are here to present the 8 million in order to support a journey to return successful. By His grace of God, God is going to scale him through. God will see you through. In Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you. Fear not. What do you have to say? This is my fourth time here. And each time I come here, my spirit got lifted. Papa, I'll tell you what. That dance, that your dance, that has become a signature tune everywhere, I shall return and do that dance with you. Usually so painful. When songs are going on, the choir is singing, and I'm seated over there, and I see people, I see you dancing, I see people dancing, and I can't get up and dance. The last time I said to your wife, if she remember, I said to her, I didn't know you were this much a good dancer. But I am better. I shall come back and show this church that I'm a better dancer than you are. So once again, uh, Papa, thank you so much. Church, thank you so much. Madam, thank you so much. With your prayers and your thoughts, I shall go and with the faith I have, I shall return and I shall walk in here without support and testify to the goodness of the Lord and to that same God that you, Prophet Jeremiah of Motofufui, serves. Thank you very much. May the Lord bless all, and the Lord bless Nollywood, may the Lord bless Nigeria, may the Lord bless Mercy City, Lord bless Niger Delta, in Jesus' name. Don't worry, God will go with you, and return with you. Remember your promise, to dance for God. <laughs> huh? Competition for two of you. Okay. <laughs> it will be competition. That's what I want. So no problem. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Music. There is nothing you cannot do. There is nothing you cannot do. Go 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 go. There is nothing you cannot do. Nothing, nothing, nothing. There is nothing. There is nothing you cannot do. There is nothing you cannot do. There is nothing you cannot do. Yeah. There is nothing you cannot do. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. Only Jesus can do it for you. Jesus can do it. 
Only you. Only you. Only you. Only you.